You can't lie about the facts, Secretary, Secretary Mayorkas, while you live in denial and sit over there with this attitude that you're doing everything Let's right, you stand. are killing Let's Americans stand. with your policies. That actually ended up being the moment that got Congresswoman Marjorie Greene and her ridiculous statements silenced during a GOP led House Homeland Security Committee hearing. Now let's watch the entirety of her statements with some more context. She's speaking to the Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security, Alejandro Mayorkas, and here's how that went. China is poisoning America's children, poisoning our teenagers, poisoning our young people. How long are you going to let this go on? Congresswoman, let me assure you that we're not letting it go on. We are fighting this. No, I reclaim my time. You're a liar. You are letting this go on and the numbers prove it. You can't lie about the facts, Secretary, Secretary Mayorkas. While you live in denial and sit over there with this attitude that you're doing everything Let's right, you stand. are killing Americans yeah. with your policies. And that is a fact. Your policies are killing people, over 300 yeah. Americans a day, over 300, and it's outrageous. So that led to calls by Democratic lawmakers to essentially take down her remarks, which is different from striking her remarks from the record. And I'll tell you how in just a moment. So the Democrat who moved to take down her remarks was Congressman Benny Thompson. And Green's comments did in fact violate House rules. Look, I'm not one of these people who's like obsessed with decorum and like, oh, you must be you know, all buttoned up and decorum is so important. But she was out of line during that hearing, not just in her interaction with Mayorkas, but also in her interaction with Democratic lawmaker Eric Swalwell. We'll get to that later in the show. But here's what Republican, I'm sorry. So House Chair, the House Chair, for this committee is Republican Mark Green. So Mark Green said this, it's pretty clear that the rules state that you can't impugn someone's character. Identifying or calling someone a liar is unacceptable in this committee. And I make the ruling that we strike those words. Um, and so Representative Dan Goldman, who's a Democrat from New York, uh, then noted that uh, Benny Thompson's motion to take down Green's remarks, not strike them, uh, taking them down would essentially end Green's ability to question Mayorkas further. The committee did just that. Green was not kicked out of the hearing, but she was prohibited from speaking further. So look. Asking tough questions of a secretary of a major department like the Department of Homeland Security, no problem with that. But throwing out accusations, calling him a liar, placing the blame on Mayorkas for the fentanyl crisis that we're dealing with in the country right now is not only inaccurate, it does break the House rules. And the reason why I say it's inaccurate is because no, the Department of Homeland Security doesn't have an open border policy where they're like, everybody bring in the fentanyl. We love watching Americans die on our streets. That is not what's happening. And that is what Marjorie Greene is making it seem like. Yeah, no, I disagree a little bit. So I think she's unhinged, of course I agree mm -hmm. with that. Mm -hmm. You're definitely right about the border. The guy's about to say his policy, right? He's like, no, shut up, you're a liar. Let me tell you what your policy is. It's to let fentanyl from China in. We don't have a border with China. Anyway, long story, bottom line is, no, we don't have an open border policy. Ironically, she's the one lying about it. Okay, now having said that, I think the house rules are BS. You can't call someone a liar, why? Because they're all liars and so they don't wanna be called liars. So they set a rule saying, well, we're gonna ban you from calling us liars. They're politicians, almost all of them are liars, including Marjorie Taylor Greene. Right. So I just don't believe in that decorum. If I was there, I'd be calling them liars 24 seven. I think my issue isn't necessarily with her calling him a liar, right? Like I care way less about that. What I do care about is seeing lawmakers, whether it's a Democrat or Republican, I don't care, using these hearings specifically for their little performances mm -hmm. and spreading disinformation through their little performances, right? Yeah. Because it is, look, they all know what they're doing. 
these hearings are never meant to actually accomplish anything. I think you guys know that at this point. How many hearings have we talked about? Even hearings that have been called upon by Democratic lawmakers, even progressives. And it's always their moment for a soundbite that might go viral on social media. And then it'll give you the illusion that they're actually doing something to fight for you when in reality they're doing nothing. So they use these hearings to make a name for themselves, to go viral, whatever. And in this case, Marjorie Greene is spreading lies through her little performative um, actions. Yeah, but instead of complaining about it, if I was a Democrat on the other side, I'd be like, well, the, the gentlewoman from Georgia is a giant liar. And let me explain why there is no open border policy and she has lied about it hundreds of times. So she's 10,000 times the liar than anybody else is. But, so, but that's fighting fire with fire and Democrats would never do that. Look guys, on the performative stuff, I have a I have a slightly different take on it. So because so Anna's right, there's no question that they're using it for PR to get their names bigger. Republicans do it, Democrats do it. Everyone then, does it. Right. And then and then they raise by the way, the corporate guys don't do it much because they don't need the funds. They just get bribes from corporations. It's actually honestly progressives and and extreme right that do it more. Okay, I'm being real with you guys. And by the way, one of the reasons they do that is because it raises a lot of money. Okay, so when you're seen as fighting the other side, you get grassroots money. And and to be fair to a guy like Matt Gates, he doesn't take corporate PAC money, so he needs to do that more to get grassroots funding. Okay, so that has set up a perverse incentive to put on the biggest clown show. Okay, but the part that I I want to draw your attention to on how it could be different is you can use those performances to put a spotlight on an issue and be incredibly effective. But what's so frustrating is that no one does that. So the right way to do it, for example, if you're a progressive in Congress, is to make a giant big stink and use some bad words, yell at a Republican, yell at a fellow Democrat, and then say about, for example, paid family leave. And then say, scream to everyone, 84% of the country wants it. Why won't these crooks pass it? Because they work for corporate donors and they're liars, right? That'll get a lot of attention and then people will go, huh. Paid family leave polls at 84%. Three quarters of Republican voters agree with it. Why aren't they passing it? That would be an effective way to use quote unquote performance, right? Mm -hmm. But no one does that. They only do it to build up their own reputations and to raise more money. And that's why we're all sick of politics. Now, before she had that interaction with Mayorkas, she had a pretty bad interaction with Eric Swalwell. There were calls for her statements to be taken down, but the chairman of this committee was unwilling to do so after the reaction with Eric Swalwell. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.